Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Tuck Notes Beginner Stock Talk. Um, tonight, or today, uh, we, I'm going to be covering um, in detail uh, Tesla's, uh, more of the robotic side of Tesla, and kind of uh, open our, our minds and eyes to uh, that um, area of Tesla's um, business. And so we'll go over, you know, why, te you know, this robot might be the most valuable thing for Tesla business. Um, why does he think that? Why does Elon think that? And, you know, a breakdown, you'll see a video about a breakdown video of the Tesla robot and, you know, more specifics, literally specifics. Um, um, and then, uh, We'll go over why or what's the timeline for this robot when can we expect to have one or you know is it going to be ready things like that so during the earning tesla's earnings call uh elon musk mentioned about optimus and that he said it could be like the biggest game changer not in those exact words but uh for tesla and its business and uh uh, I think, honestly, a lot of that went over people's heads, um, and they're just focused solely on just cars, um, investors. But, um, you know, if you don't believe me, uh, then he, just listen right now, okay? Uh, I was surprised that people did not realize the, the magnitude of the Optimus robot program. Um, this the, the importance of Optimus will become apparent in the coming years. Uh, those who are insightful or looking to listen carefully uh, will understand that Optimus ultimately will be worth more than the car business, worth more than FSD. So that's. Uh, you heard it. And so now, um, so what's the main purpose of Optimus? Um, basically it's to, you know, replace repetitive, boring jobs. Um, it looks cool. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, they did have an event, uh, for this specific robot and talked about more detail about the robot. And so we'll watch a video on that. And um, then after that, we will um, go into uh, a few other uh, important things that will be important. Trust me. Okay. So just give me a moment and I'll get us to um, Okay, watch. Men, listen, pay attention. Arguably the world's biggest robotics company because our cars are like se semi-sentient robots on wheels. Um, and with uh, uh, the full self-driving computer, essentially the, the inference engine on the car, which will keep evolving, obviously, and uh, Dojo uh, and all the uh, neural nets recognizing the world, understanding how to navigate through the world, uh, it, it kind of makes sense to put that onto a humanoid form. Um, and we're also quite good at uh, sensors and batteries and uh, actuators. So uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year uh, that uh, is, basically looks like this. Um, and it's intended to um, uh, be friendly, of course, um, <laughs> and uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive, and boring tasks. Um, we're setting it such that it is, um, at a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um, <laughs> and, and most likely overpower it. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that doesn't ever happen, but um, you never know. <laughs> so it's uh, it'll be a, you know, a light, a light, yeah, anyway, five miles an hour, you can, if you can get run past it, that would be fine. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a, around, around uh, five foot eight. Um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the autopilot system in it. So it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras, and um, yeah. Uh, full self driving computer and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things that I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is can it navigate through the world without being explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, without explicit, like, uh, line by line instructions. Um, can you can you talk to it and say you know please uh, pick up that bolt uh, and uh, attach it to a car with that wrench and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to you know please you know please go to the store and get me the following groceries, um, that kind of thing. So yeah, I think we can do that. Um, <laughs> and yeah. This, I think, will be quite quite profound because if you say, like, what is the economy? It is, uh, at the foundation, it is labor. So what happens when there is, uh, you know, no shortage of, of labor? Um, this is why I think long term that there will need to be universal basic income. Um, yeah. But, but not right now because this robot doesn't work. Uh, so <laughs> we just need a minute. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but I think it's, it's essentially in the future, uh, physical work will be a choice. If you, if you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. And, um, yeah, I think it obviously has profound implications for the economy because uh, given that the economy at, at its foundational level uh, is labor, I mean, capital is, uh, capital equipment is just distilled labor, uh, then um, is there any actual limit to the economy? Uh, maybe not. Um, so... Yeah. Okay. You guys heard it from the man, the myth in the legend. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, all right. So I would suggest um, looking back at this video and um, writing down the dimensions of the robot, the numbers on there. All that stuff is really important to understanding um, financial decisions and, um, uh, you know, Elon Musk gives the answers are right in front of us, literally, uh, if you do a little work, if you, the answer is in front of you. And I've shown a little bit of steps how to do it um, one way. Uh, now, uh, I, I just, f physical work will be a choice. That's it's just mind blowing. Um, but the key thing is right now, many analysts are not like looking into the potential of Optimus. There's uh, like, uh, like with the EV cars, a lot of people didn't believe that there could be one. And the, finally there was one and they believed in Elon Musk. And now we're in a new dimension, robotics. And Elon's presenting, you know, the EV of robotics and analysts are turning their heads and focusing on the cars instead. And, and he's telling us that it's more important, it's more valuable than the cars. Uh, test, you know, t yeah. So, um, and ARK Invest, you know, has not taken into place their 2026 price target of $4,600. Robotics, this has not been put into account. So uh, that is a huge um, game changer financially, possibly. So um, yeah, there are a lot of people that, you know, basically like people were doubting, you know, uh, Elon would say FSD will be coming out, you know, at X, X date or whatever, and then it gets pushed back later. Uh, Cybertruck, great example. You know, we all thought it was going to come out this year, gets pushed back later. So those are reasons why people are not believing in this right now. Um, 
personally for myself i do believe in this i believe in all of this i if i if i didn't i wouldn't have uh be sending and making all these codes on my instagram account at tucker mlo like uh i don't know i have a lot of belief in this man and i really hope other people do too um stay tuned to another video we'll get into more detail about this week um and how craziness is it will be um uh, meaning if it'll, it'll look like an ekg probably but i don't know i'm not a genie so if you like the video guys push the like button and if you want to subscribe to the channel it'd be super cool it helps out the channel uh and i hope you have a nice day peace out